hello and welcome to Art from the Heart. I'm Jeannie and I hope everyone's having a good holiday season, especially under the circumstances. I know that it's limited, but I hope everyone's doing well. And today I'm just going to announce that I have um, a new website coming. I haven't launched it yet. I'm almost ready to launch it and it's called Art from the Heart dot studio and Jeannie Marie D'Amico dot art so the two links will get you to the same place and it's exciting I've been working on it and so it's so tempting to just hit that publish button but I want to make sure I have things mostly it'll be a work in progress but in the beginning I want everything on there easy to navigate so I want to show you the last painting that I did that I absolutely love this color it is the, it's a very hard magenta to say, I'll read it in a second, but it's that one there at the bottom, and then I put the gray at the top there. The 24 karat gold is amazing, it's so beautiful. This painting has so much depth to it because it just has metallic, it has matte, uh, the varnish just makes it come alive all over again. So you'll see this also on my new website and I will be posting the link on today's video because it should be ready very soon and this one will be on it. I'm going to do magenta again today because that I want to make more of it. I'm going to do a different uh, style uh, today, not where I'm I've been dividing it like that. I'm going to divide my painting for negative space in a different way today. I got this canvas ready with the tape on the back and the push pins and I balanced it. I also do put the size of the painting on there. Today I'm doing an 18 by 24 and I have a blank canvas. So what I'm going to do is use magenta again, but I wanna show you something because I do say quite often that the paints get darker when they dry. So here's an example. Well, with the light, it's very, it's actually darker in real life. And this is very bright. But how this magenta dries is like that. What a difference. It's so rich. All right, so let's get started. I will be doing the painting this way not horizontal, it'll be more vertical, and you'll see soon. I'm going to do it um, off camera a little bit and speeding it up a little, so because it takes a lot of time. You know, my, my paintings, my videos, can take about an hour to do, if not more, and I have to reduce it down, way down. So, you know, because I want people to watch it, and I hope people at least will watch what I do post. So let's get started on this and I will see you on the other side.
Is that beautiful or what? Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. And I am loving it. I paid attention to how I mixed my paints. The 24 karat gold is popping. I mean, I don't need to make more cells. I'm just gonna get a piece of something out of there. I don't need to make more cells. I love how the edges are. Oh, it's gorgeous. These cells are beautiful. They're still popping right before my eyes. I'm just getting rid of um, air bubbles, but I don't need to get any cells here. Just popping air bubbles, because once in a while, since I, since I just made this paint today, most of it. Once in a while, I've noticed when it dries, there's a little tiny bubble. And I mean, it's not something that's that noticeable, but I'm trying to pay more attention to them. Always have a, a toothpick around in order to pop them if you see them, you know, when you're looking after. Just want to get those bubbles out. Yep, their big one just popped right there. So that could have been disastrous. This is just beautiful. And this is going to dry so rich. Wow, just the details. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to bring you down to show you the close-ups. It's just striking. I hope you're inspired. And thank you for joining me. Please like, 
subscribe and hit that little bell if you're new so that you can see other videos that I post. And as I said, I'm going to be launching my new website and I'll be putting both the links on uh, and then just watch out for it. A lot of people have been asking me. I will be doing other things, not just acrylic Dutch pours because um, I do, I'm, I'm a professional photographer and I've taken a lot of beautiful pictures and I'd really like to capture them and paint them. I used to be a very, uh, you know, just what I see I paint and now I want it more abstract of my photographs and then uh, some other things too. So I will be doing the the skins that dry from these paintings don't go to waste and I'll be doing some videos about what to do with those. I will be showing um, more um, different techniques with uh, different tools in painting. So I've just really been enjoying doing the Dutch the Dutch pours and perfecting it. As you can see, this is one of my best and I'm, I want to continue that. So a few more of these and I will be also doing other things too. So stay tuned for all of that too. That's very exciting for me.